What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you this run well. It's not for me. I got it for a friend, and uh, this is the first time I've had a chance to kind of get it back to give you a little bit of a review. But as you can tell, you know, I haven't done any women's watches per se here. But I just thought it was kind of interesting because you don't see this one, I think, as much. It is a run well, so, it, you know, it has that same run well style. If I just kind of hold it up to the camera here and just look at it, aside from my giant mitts holding it, you wouldn't be able to tell that it's a run well of any gender, right? Because it just looks like every other run well. Kind of nice curved case here, high polished finish. You have the Arabic numerals also in gold uh, to match the, the finish on the case, gold hands. And then you have something like a, oh, let's call it a chocolate-like dial. Let's really get in there and take a look at it, right? So you can see Shinola Argonite 1069. So it's the Ronda Quartz movement, or they call it the Argonite 1069. And just really nice. You know, it's not as cleaned up as it probably should be here for video. But you can see even the lightning bolt, the Shinola lightning bolt is in gold. I actually like some of these older Shinolas because they still say Detroit on them. Um, not every one of the Shinolas now say Detroit, and I kind of miss that. You can see here a little bit of decoration, uh, perlage on the, um, not perlage, but uh, kind of... Um, ridges and texture on that sub dial ticking away and then loom on the entire watch which is pretty cool the big kind of run well style crown that you expect maybe it's on a lot of shinolas with nice big um you know gripping surfaces there and then nice ridges on it and then screw down crown so i can pop it out here pull it out and then change the time right and then you can screw it back in now this watch is not brand new and actually I don't even know that they make this watch anymore because one of the things that's kind of telltale is that they don't do a lot with the gold finish or nearly as much as uh, they used to. You can see here the wire style um, lugs which is very run wellish and then nice curved back. They, they are generally very very comfortable to wear and then even the back here is in gold and then you can just remove these screws to get to the movement and uh, work on it. The face of the watch this kind of chocolate color is matched on the leather band here, which I really, really like. Shinola does a really nice job. I don't know if they're all Horween. I don't think they are, but um, they do a nice job of making them just super, super comfortable, right? And then we have uh, the Shinola buckle on this end. Now, I am gonna put this watch on here. Like I said, you're gonna have to imagine that I'm a lady, a larger lady. Uh, looks like the band is actually lo long enough to get around my big seven and a half inch wrist. And, you know, the reason I bought this one is, you know, they have the Golmeski, they have the Birdie, um, and so just imagine I'm a large lady. Uh, and uh, I like those too, but the Runwell is just kind of classic Shinola. A lot of people recognize it and and think of Shinola. Some of the other ones are a little bit different, you know, now with the watch faces that don't have any numerals or markings, and you really have to kind of take a look to know it's a Shinola. So I like that it's just kind of more classic Shinola style, and, you know, more of a traditional old school take with the, the golden brown, something that's pretty nice. And then the other reason I didn't get some of the other ones is, especially I think the Birdie has like a really, really thin band, and then they have like that double loop thing. I guess you, you've got to kind of be into that, I think, in order to really want that style. Um, and for the person I was going to give this to, my mommy, uh, it wasn't, I, I didn't really think that was her style, just kind of more traditional watch style. The other thing I like about this is, you know, um, the, the big no, the big numerals are really easy to read and that's kind of one of the really great advantages of the Shinola Runwell. So I just wanted to show it to you before it uh, leaves my possession here. Um, if you want to get one of these, I will link to it. Not a very big watch. I want to say it's 34 millimeters. I guess I don't have uh, the dimensions right in front of me, but you know, so it's, it's definitely kind of in that women's size, right? Shinola Runwell, ladies edition. Peter Mompan out.